A conspiracy theory is an explanation of an event or situation that invokes a conspiracy without warrant, generally when involving an illegal or harmful act carried out by government or other powerful actors. Conspiracy theories often produce hypotheses that contradict the prevailing understanding of history or simple facts. The term is a derogatory one. According to the political scientist Michael Barkin, Conspiracy theories rely on the view that the universe is governed by design, and embody three principles, nothing happens by accident, nothing is as it seems, and everything is connected. 3-4 Another common feature is that conspiracy theories evolve to incorporate whatever evidence exists against them, so that they become, as Barkin writes, a closed system that is unfalsifiable, and therefore a matter of faith rather than proof. 7. People formulate conspiracy theories to explain, for example, power relations in social groups and the perceived existence of evil forces. Conspiracy theories have chiefly psychological or socio-political origins. Proposed psychological origins include projection, the personal need to explain a significant event a significant cause, and the product of various kinds and stages of thought disorder such as paranoid disposition, ranging in severity to diagnosable mental illnesses. Some people prefer socio-political explanations over the insecurity of encountering random, unpredictable, or otherwise inexplicable events. Some philosophers have argued that belief in conspiracy theories can be rational. The Oxford English Dictionary defines conspiracy theory as the theory that an event or phenomenon occurs as a result of a conspiracy between interested parties. Spec. A belief that some covert but influential agency, typically political in motivation and oppressive in intent, is responsible for an unexplained event, and cites a 1909 article in the American Historical Review as the earliest usage example. As a neutral term, Conspiracy is derived from Latin con, with, together, and spirari, to breathe. According to John Ado's 20th century words, the phrase conspiracy theory was originally a neutral term and only acquired a pejorative connotation in the mid-1960s, implying that the advocate of the theory has a paranoid tendency to imagine the influence of some powerful, malicious, covert agency in events. According to Florida State University professor Lance Dehaven Smith's 2013 book Conspiracy Theory in America, the phrase conspiracy theory was deployed in the 1960s by the Central Intelligence Agency CIA to discredit John F. Kennedy assassination conspiracy theories. However, according to Robert Blaskovich, assistant professor of critical thinking at Stockton University and skeptical activist, such claims have existed since at least 1997, but due to having recently been promoted by Dehaven Smith, conspiracy theorists have begun citing this work as an authority. Blaskovich researched the use of the term conspiracy theory and found that it has always been a disparaging term, having been used to describe extreme hypothesis and implausible speculation as long ago as 1870. In response to angry reaction to her use of the term conspiracy theories when describing extreme speculations about the Jonestown massacre, such as claims that the CIA was conducting mind control experiments, San Diego State University professor Rebecca Moore said, they were angry that I had called their version of the truth a conspiracy theory. In many respects, they have a right to be angry. The phrase conspiracy theory is not neutral. It is value-laden and carries with it condemnation, ridicule, and dismissal. It is a lot like the word cult, which we use to describe religions we do not like. Moore alternatively describes conspiracy theories as stigmatized knowledge or suppressed knowledge that are based on a conviction that powerful individuals are limiting or controlling the free flow of information for nefarious purposes. There are many unproven conspiracy theories of varying degrees of popularity, frequently related to but not limited to clandestine government plans, elaborate murder plots, suppression of secret technology and knowledge, and other supposed schemes behind certain political, cultural, and historical events. Some theories have dealt with censorship and excoriation from the law such as the Holocaust denial. 
Conspiracy theories usually go against a consensus or cannot be proven using the historical method and are typically not considered similar to verified conspiracies such as Germany's pretense for invading Poland in World War II. Currently, conspiracy theories are widely present on the web in the form of blogs and YouTube videos, as well as on social media. Whether the web has increased the prevalence of conspiracy theories or not is an open research question. The presence and representation of conspiracy theories in search engine results has been monitored and studied, showing significant variation across different topics, and a general absence of reputable, high-quality links in the results.